Assalamu alaikum. In the second lesson, we are gonna get started with Flutter. In first lesson, we have learned about basic concept of Flutter widgets. There are many interactive widgets to build beautiful Flutter apps. In today's video, we are gonna get started with Flutter project and components of its structure. So, let's get going. Alright, I opened up a new window of VS Code. If you have not installed Flutter SDK on your operating system, then first thing you need to do is install Flutter by following steps on the video clip based on your operating system. The link to that is in the description below. After successfully installed Flutter, let's back to Visual Studio Code Editor. I recommend you to use Visual Studio Code because it is lightweight and it has large number of extensions that helps you to faster development and most of the programmer using VS Code Editor. Alright, now we are gonna create our first Flutter application. In VS Code, creating a new Flutter application is quite easy. The first thing we are gonna to do is open a folder. We can do by clicking on that or here. We need to click on that and select a directory. I'm gonna select desktop, get started, and then select folder. Now we are on get started folder. Now, if you are on Mac, simply hold Command, Shift, and P together. And if you are on Windows, simply hold Control, Shift, P together. There are many comments appear. We just need to find out Flutter new project comment. So, I'm gonna search for Flutter. We can see Flutter new project comment appear. We just need to click on that. And then it's asking for which template we are gonna generate. We are gonna generate a Flutter application. So, simply click on that. And then we have to select a folder to create the project. I'm gonna select again desktop, get started, and then select folder. Now it's asking for project name. I'm gonna give a name. Note that name should be all lowercase and underscore to separate words. So I'm gonna give get underscore started and then press enter. The code is generating. After a few minutes, we can see your Flutter project is ready to run. There are lots of boiler code generated. Let's understand all the components of the project. Android directory, this is auto-generated source code to create Android application. iOS directory, this is auto-generated source code to create iOS application. Leaf directory, this is root directory who is containing dirt code written using flutter framework main file this is the entry point of the flutter project test directory this is containing dirt code to test the flutter application with a test file there's have sample code to test your application web directory this is auto generated source code to create web application dot git ignore file this is git version control file dot metadata file this is auto generated by the flutter tools dot packages file this is auto generated to track the flutter packages analysis options dot ml file this is performs static analysis of our code dot iml file this is project file used by android studio pubspec dot log file this is auto generated by the flutter package manager pub pubspec.ml file this is used by pub here pub is a flutter package manager readme.md file this is a project description file written in markdown format so these are all about components of project structure now let's understand dart code of main file line by line in first line imports the flutter material package or library the material package to implement material components like app bar button input dialog alert selection 
layout and much much more things and then third to five lines of code this is the entry point of the flutter application here calls run app function and pass it an object of my app class the purpose of the run app function is to attach the given widget to the screen and then 7 to 30 lines of code there's a stateless widget which doesn't maintain any state of the application here my app extends stateless widget and overrides its build method the purpose of the build method is to create a part of the ui of the application here build method uses material app widget to create the root level ui of the application it has three properties by default title theme and home title for title of the application themes are used to design the fonts and colors of the application primary search for set blue as the overall color of the application and home it is used for the default route of the application means the widget defined in it is displayed when the app starts normally now we are going to do is just delete the my home page widget that's already in there that one also because we are going to learn this from scratch we will just leave this in next lesson we will learn the actual concept behind creating the widgets and the different types of widgets available in the flutter framework thank you